I need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's the way I need loans with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space The book of Leviticus chapter 23 is where you find the, the, the laws of God as it pertains to the feast days. Let me give you a hint, give you a precursor. Christmas ain't in there. Right. Easter ain't in there. Right. Your birthdays ain't in there. Right. Mama's day ain't in there. Right. Daddy's day ain't in there. Halloween ain't in there. That's right. Uh, Easter ain't in there. That's it. Valentine's Day ain't in there. Right. Uh, uh, tree Day and Earth Day. All these days that y'all keep are not in the Bible. They are actually abominations right. to God. Did y'all shut this store down? This y'all community, right? Did y'all shut this store down yesterday on the Sabbath? But it's supposed to be closed. That's right. Y'all ain't supposed to be buying or selling on the Sabbath. We Israelites. That's right. Everybody. We the children of the king. Right. The king said, Today is my Sabbath. Thou shalt not buy or sell. Thou shalt not work but rest. But y'all let this store be open. Come on, man. We got to judge righteous judgments. No matter what. I know we don't own that. But if y'all ain't shopping in there, how they going to keep it open? That's right. Right. Come on, man. That's right. Come, on. Come on. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. What are we talking about? The fringes. The fringes. Your royal attire, brother and sister. That's right. And sister. If he's a princess and the, because he's the son of the king, what are you being a daughter of the king? Yeah. Princess. That's a prince. You're a princess. You're both royalty. You are royalty. Right. So you su you're supposed to behave. You're supposed to dress. You're supposed to think royal. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel, which you are, which you are, which you are, which you are, which you are. You are a child of Israel. Come on. And bid them that they make them fringes. That word bid, that word bid, that means to command. That means judge. Judge them to put fringes on the borders of their garments. Come on. And the borders of their garments throughout their generations. You are a generation. So though this was written thousands of years ago, you are a descendant of the man who said this. That's right. You are a descendant of the children who were commanded to do this. That's right. So you're supposed to today be wearing fringes on your garment. You are, you are all y'all out here. When you look around 360 degrees, everybody you see that's of your people are supposed to be dressed like this. We ain't supposed to be weird out here. We're not supposed to be the only ones out here doing this. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe, so on top of this fringe, on top of the, the tassels that you see, read, of the borders, uh -huh. a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue, not green, not brown, not black. Blue. Blue. That's a law. It's recorded in the Bible. It says, bid them. Make them put fringes on the borders of their garments That's throughout right. their generations. So your children are supposed to do what? The same thing. That's fringes. Right. Come on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So the end of your garment should look like this. It should be unto you for a fringe. Fringe means him. Mama, you so, yeah? So you understand what him means, right? Back in the day, we didn't say him. We said fringe. Fringe means the finishing of your garment. You know you don't make no clothes and don't finish the end. You got to hem that thing, right? So our hems ought to look like this. Our hem, are, the end of our garments are supposed to have this on them. You understand? Come on. That ye may look upon it. So these fringes have a purpose. As do all God's commandments. They have a purpose. God didn't just say do it because he wanted to see how funny we would look. He said do it because it has a practical purpose to it. It helps you live practically. Come on. That's right. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So he said not only do you put them on your clothes, but you put them on your clothes to remind you to keep all the commandments of the Lord. All of them. So you can look and you can say, every one of these is a commandment of God. And I have to keep them. If you know that I'm an Israelite, I got you, mom. I got you. One second. If you know, if y'all know I'm an Israelite out here, right? Because I got my fringes on. That's how y'all know I'm Israelite. You're like walking up the street, yo, that's one of them, 
That's one of them Israelites right there, right? If I know that you, everybody looking at me as an Israelite, as a child of God, how will I behave myself even mm. when I don't feel like it? Bring it out. Like a child of God. Right. That's the responsibility and the duty of our nation to the whole world. We are, they are supposed to know we possess the knowledge and power of God. That's right. That we're, they're, the nations are supposed to know that. Do they know that if they kneeling on our neck till we die and piss and bleed in the street? Do they know that? No. We're nothing but roaches to them. Because we're not behaving as the children of kings. Who would kill the, chi the king's child? That's right. Who just going to willy-nilly kneel on his neck till he dead in the street? Bring it out. Who going to do that? Who? If, 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 what's, what's his name? The, the, the Edomite that killed Trayvon? George Zimmerman. Jo if George Zimmerman saw Trayvon Martin with his fringes on, obeying the commandments of God, dealing as a child or, or, or the ruler of the, uh, the, the world, would he have dealt with him like that? Why is our people looked at as nothing but criminals, baby daddies, baby mamas, no good, scoundrels, robbers, murderers, thieves? Why? Because we do not obey God's command. We don't obey our father. That's right. We are reckless. We are wild in our neighborhoods. Wild. As horrible as it is that they're killing us, and often as that is, we kill more of each other every single day. That's right. That's right. Every day. It just ain't hitting the news. That's all. It just ain't highlighted in the news. But we are far bloodier than the white man today. Today. We are far more responsible for our own demise today. What you got, sis? What is the commandment? What is the commandment? What is the what are the commandments? Of God. Of God? It's, a, it's a lot of them, but they're abbreviated in the ten. Right? Thou shall have no other gods, thou shall have no thou shall not bow to a graven image or right, create one. Those are ten. Those are the categories, right? And under those categories are all the laws. Six over six hundred and thirteen laws in the Bible. So what is the other law besides that? Ceremony Okay, so all the all the, the the Bible categorizes all the all the commandments in the Bible, all the laws, all the statutes in the Bible. And they are ceremonial, sacrificial, dietary, civil, and moral. You understand? All the laws in the Bible tells us how to set, how, how, what our feast days should look like because it ain't Christmas, it ain't Thanksgiving, it ain't all those holidays that y'all worship today. Right. So we have our own ceremonial laws which tells us which feast days to keep That's right. and how to keep them. So where we, you find that at? Leviticus 23, chapter 23. You find that also in in, in uh, First Maccabees, Second Maccabees, right? In the yeah, that's been taken out of the Bible yeah. by your Protestants and your Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bring it out. Le Leviticus 23. I'm gonna show you. Go to 43. I'm sorry. Y'all celebrate the traditional. No, what is what is what? Is, huh? It's, but it's Yom Kippur means it's 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 it's, it's on the wrong day. What when is Yom Kippur? That's 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 Jewish, and you don't find it in the Bible. You find that in what's called the the uh, the Tanakh. No, not Tanakh. The um, Talmud. 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 Right. That's where a bunch of. Uh, no, sir. That's not in the Bible. We pick up a Bible and do what's in it. All the other books, we don't need that stuff. Right. With this Bible, say if the book don't align with this Bible. We don't need it. We don't use it. We, we, we hey, this is toilet paper. You hear That's me? Right. <laughs> That's all it is, man. Huh? It's some wickedness in there. They be drinking blood in the Talmud. Bring it up. It's, it's filthy. What is it? Oh, that's right. That's right. Give me that. Isaiah 34, 16. Isaiah 34, 16. Watch this. Because it's a lot. It's a lot in the Bible. I mean, it's a lot of books, right? It's, a t it's tons of books, and you can learn a lot of it's to the, It's no end to what you can learn in this world. You can, from the day you're born to the day you die, you can yeah, read a book a, and learn everything that's in it. Uh, but it's all vanity if it, ain't what God, if it ain't what keeps you alive or gets you the kingdom of heaven after you're dead. It's all pointless. What was it all for? Right? Watch this. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. What's the book of the Lord? The Holy Bible. He says, seek you out of that. Seek you out of the book of the Lord. Right? Read. And read. And read. No 
one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. What is written in the book of the Lord shall not fail. Read. None shall want her mate. No other book shall want her. You cannot make any book against it. If it doesn't support what the Bible say, it's garbage. Right. It's trash. It's trash. It's trash. The only reason we pick up any other book is to further expound on to some uh, the, the wisdom that's in this Bible to somebody who don't believe yet. Other than that, if I didn't have to teach my people, I wouldn't pick up another book, man. I didn't I wouldn't pick up another book. It would just be the Bible. I'm studying the Bible every day. Until Christ come and teach me all those things that I haven't learned yet, that I don't know yet. But what it takes to get to the kingdom, to inherit the kingdom of heaven, to live forever, to not die, to keep your brother from dying, to keep your sister from dying, it's all in this book. It's all in this book. Right? Go back. Where was we at? Leviticus 23. Leviticus 23. Give me verse 40. Give me verse 40. No, just give me verse uh, 1. Let's go back to verse 1. Watch this. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. Now we're going to read. About, this is where you, I'm going. To, I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but this, the book of Leviticus chapter 23 is where you find the, the, the laws of God as it pertains to the feast days. Let me give you a hint, give you a precursor. Christmas ain't in there. Right. Easter ain't in there. Right. Your birthdays ain't in there. Right. Mama's day ain't in there. Right. Daddy's day ain't in there. Halloween ain't in there. That's right. Uh, Easter ain't in there. Did I said uh, Valentine's Day ain't in there. Right. Uh, uh, tree Day and Earth Day. All these days that y'all keep are not in the Bible. They are actually abominations right. to God. July 4th. Where were you in 1776? Chains on your neck. So what independence are you celebrating on the 4th of July? You are still a slave in America. Right. What are you celebrating? Come on. Verse 1. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord. what? The feast of the Lord. So these are the feast of the Lord. Those other feasts are feasts of devils. Feasts of devils. God has no part or pleasure in those feasts. Meaning Christmas and all those other things we celebrate as holidays. Those are hella days. That's right. That's yeah. what they are. They're going to get you destroyed. Destroyed. Read on. Which, Jimmy Joe one. Yes, sir. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. It says ye shall proclaim. So as you brothers and sisters are standing here today, stop celebrating these evil holidays. That's right. They will get you killed. That's right. You will die in those holidays. Come on. Even these are my feasts. These are the Lord's feasts. Read. Six days shall work be done. So what is he going into first and foremost? The Holy Sabbath. The last day of the week. When God created everything, what did he do on the last day? Rested. And he called it what? The Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And he right. rest. That's right. So if your father in heaven is resting, what should you be doing? Resting. Wake rest, your daddy rest. if you want to. Wake him up. Mama, you know what happened. You wake daddy up. He, look, he done worked all week. And you go waking him up when he tries. You already know how that go. You already, but we lose sense when it comes to God, though. We can't lose good common sense now. We can't lose that. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. That's the seventh day. Come on. And holy convocation. God called that thing holy. What does holy mean? It means separate. So if it's separate, that means that things that you're doing those six days through the week, you can't do on the seventh day. Right. You can't do on the Sabbath. It's separate. Bring it out. This store was supposed to be shut down or not. What's the word? I always forget the word. Uh, no. What's the word? Pa patron. Patron. Y'all shouldn't have been shopping in there. Patronize. There you go. You should. Yeah, you boycott this thing every Saturday. Right. Every Saturday. Every. That's what y'all do. All these stores is open. Don't shop. Yeah, they're going to be open. Yeah, we don't own them. Yeah, the heathen own them. Yeah, they don't care about the Bible, right? But y'all care about the Bible. Y'all the children of God. Y'all right. don't shop in these places. Right. Get your goods. It's Friday before the sun go down. Friday before the sun go down. You know what that's going to make them do? Shut these places down. Right. Not only that, you're going to be removing a lot of economy out of the other nations right. and back into you all's pockets. That's, right. that's what you're going to do. 
That's what you're going to do. So the Lord teaches us about everything, including economics. That's right. Including economics. But anyway, come on. Ye shall do no work therein. You shall not do any work. You shall not be working on the set. So that goes into your buying and selling. If you're selling, what you doing? You're working. You're working. If you're buying, what are you doing? You're supporting somebody else working. That's right. God said it's the Sabbath. If God is resting, even the heathen, even the other nations should be resting. Even your animals should be resting. That's right. Come on. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. It's the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Wherever you live, it's the Sabbath. All over this planet, it is the Sabbath. Stop shopping, stop buying, stop selling, stop cooking on the Sabbath. Stop cooking. So the dietary law extends beyond what you should eat and shouldn't eat. It extends to when you should eat and shouldn't eat and what. So yes, you can eat on the Sabbath, but you should you can't you can't you can't have hot you can't cook on the Sabbath. You can't cook. So guess what you can do? You can eat a salad. You can eat pasta salad. You can eat a sandwich. You I'm talking about a decked out one. I ain't talking about no dry sore throat joint. I'm talking about a legit, you know what I'm saying? You lay you deck it out. Right? You can eat good on the Sabbath, but the Lord said, y'all ain't going to cook on the Sabbath. Y'all not going to cook on the Sabbath. Give me that Deuteronomy 16 real quick. Just in case I'm saying something crazy. I want y'all to understand good. Because the Lord said in our captivity, we have to bethink ourselves. That means remember who we are. And remembering who we are, that means remembering our customs. Remembering our heritage. That's what comes with bethinking ourselves. Remembering who we are. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. Come on. And he said unto them. Uh, because the people asked the same thing some of y'all might be thinking. Yo, he just said we can't cook. So what are we supposed to eat? Right. How are we supposed to? Right. You want us to starve on the? No. This is, so, so the people, we were asking the same question back in this time. What is he talking about, right? Did he just say I can't cook on the Sabbath day? Right. What is he talking about? So Moses is going to answer and explain how we are to deal with the Sabbath as it pertains to us eating, right? Read. This is, excuse me, this is that Start which, over. verse 23, and he said unto them, huh? this is that which the Lord hath said, huh? tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So notice what it is. It's the eve of the Sabbath, meaning it's the day before. So he said tomorrow is the Sabbath. Come on. Unto the Lord, uh -huh. bake that which ye will bake today. So the day before, you bake what you go and bake. Because back then, we couldn't go up in no shop and buy a loaf of bread. Right. We couldn't do that back then. We couldn't even we couldn't even uh, 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 go to a like a Burger King or a, a restaurant and buy a sandwich. We couldn't do that back then, right? So the Lord said, bake that which you will bake today, meaning before the Sabbath, read. And see that ye will see. Uh -huh. And that which remaineth over... See, see means what? Boil. It's going into cooking again. Going into cooking again. Read. And that which remaineth lay over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So make enough for you to be good tonight and tomorrow. We do that. We know what leftovers is about. Right? Some things are better leftovers. Some things ain't getting good till tomorrow. Right? Spaghetti, one of them things. That thing is for real. The next day, huh? You got collards. You said collards. They better than that because it's look that turkey neck sit in that thing, right? They get to sit in that. You know what I mean? So it's better the next day. So the Lord gave us the same. A lot of things we do spiritually, we do naturally, but it's in our spirit. It's who we are. You know right. what I mean? Right. Just like for some reason we all know to have the same speech. We all like the same thing, like the same music. You know, they gotta have a little bit of bass. They gotta have that boom, boom, boom. That, you know what I mean? We all got a little rhythm. But other people don't. But nobody has to teach us these things. It's some things just naturally in us that's in our spirit, the spirit that's in us. Right. Because of who our father is. Right? right? Come on. Go. Yeah. And they laid it up till the morning uh -huh. as, Mo as Moses bade. Because that was the Sabbath. So the things that they cooked before, which is in our time, we call it th uh, uh, Thursday or Friday before the sun goes down. Right? Those are that's the time that they cook and then they laid it up for the Sabbath. So they had something to eat Friday be Friday night and then they had something to eat on the Sabbath, which is Saturday until sundown. Understand? Because a, a day is sundown to sundown in the Bible. This whole thing this, with the Gregorian calendar is backwards. It's morning to morning. 
that's opposite of what God actually said though, right? Right? Now go back to, let's get, um, where you at? Leviticus. Right? Come on. Verse, oh no, that was in Leviticus. Now let's get the dietary law. Let's get the dietary law. So verse, Leviticus 23, mother, is where you find the, the, the feast days of God, the holidays that we are supposed to keep. All right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.